at the 2018 Big South Conference Media Days with Gardner Webb head men's basketball coach Tim Kraft. Coach, you were picked sixth in the Big South Conference preseason poll. How does that motivate you and the team as we're set to kick off the season? Well, I, I don't think our preseason, uh, the preseason poll was, you know, providing a whole lot of motivation. We're, we're motivated every year to try to be our best. And, um, you know, in terms of what the preseason poll means, I don't. I think all the coaches will tell you they, they don't think it means a whole lot. Um, you know whether being pick six can help motivate our guys to feel like um, you know that uh, that that you know they were you know picked lower than they should have been picked or something like that. If if, if they you know that provides some motivation, great. Um, but but you know we, we just want to be motivated to be our best no matter what. And um, hopefully our, our guys are coming to work every day with that mentality. You open with a large portion of your schedule on the road, obviously, at VCU, and you don't play a home game until December. How will those road tests really help prepare you, not only for the rest of the non-conference season, but also for a grueling Big South Conference schedule? Well, I think our, our schedule typically in November is always like that, you know, and uh, generally we might have, a, you know, one or two home games sprinkled in there in November, but, but the majority of our games are typically on the road. And um, so it won't be much different than we're used to. Um, I think in terms of the non-conference strength of schedule, it's really tough. But, you know, the, the, the deal is, I think, any time that your team has to do hard things, you know, when you put your team in a position where they have to overcome hard things, it's going to help them be a better team. It's going to help them be tougher mentally and physically. And, um, you know, I think our, our schedule is certainly built to do that. Uh, playing on the road, playing in tough environments, playing against some of the best uh, players and coaches in the country in college basketball um, is going to help our team grow and, and learn how to overcome things that are challenging and difficult and, and figure out a way to do that together and stay together. So, you know, I think those things, when they get into league play, we're going to have to be able to do that. We're going to have to be able to, uh, to figure out how to, way, how to fight our way out of tough situations. And um, in the non-conference, we're going to put ourselves in a position where we're going to have to do that quite a bit. When you return to the friendly confines of Paul Porter Arena in December, what does that mean to be able to just play in front of a rowdy home crowd and get a break from being on the road? Oh, it's going to it's going to be exciting. It's going to be going to be uh, going to be a uh, breath of fresh air for sure to get in front of our home fans December first against Savannah State. Um, and I know our our players will be excited to to get out there on the floor and uh, play in front of our students and our community. Um, we've had a great uh, home court advantage over the years. I think one of the best in the league. And um, hopefully this year our students will be really supportive of our group. I think we're going to have a really exciting group to watch. Um, but that's going to be fun when we get there to December 1st. We're, we're a ways away from that. But I know when we get to that point, we're going we're gonna to be breathing a sigh of relief to play at home. You have first team all-conference selection David Effiani here with you today. Being a fifth-year senior, what type of leadership does he provide on the practice court thus far? Well, I think more than anything else, he's just there's not many things that he hasn't seen or gone through, um, you know, personally with his uh, just development as a player and kind of ups and downs he's gone through as a player throughout his career from his freshman year to to last season. Um, you know, there's not many things that he hasn't experienced um, and, and he does a really good job of communicating some of his experiences to our team and to our younger guys. And um, I think anytime you have a guy like that, that, you know, number one, uh, you know, can be trusted and be counted on, ha has, has shown a lot of success uh, as a player in the league, um, he's going to have the respect of our locker room. And, um, you know, when you have a guy that, that, that has that track record of success, but then can kind of impart some nuggets of knowledge and wisdom that he's learned over the years, it, it can be really beneficial to, us, to, to our team. And, um, you know, the, and then the things he's seen our team go through, you know, n not just himself individually, but, but you know, seeing seen our team go through over the last four years, um, some of that wisdom that he can share with our guys. It, 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 it usually means a lot more coming from a guy like him than, than coming from our coaching staff. So um, I think it could be a huge benefit for our group, and it has been so far. That's Gardner-Webb head men's basketball coach Tim Kraft. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you.